A big warm welcome out there again, everyone. Guys and gals, welcome back. Joseph James here. It's 11.30 Eastern Time right now. Happy Tuesday morning to everybody. Now, again, like I said earlier this morning, I really appreciate your patience with me on Monday. Missed our trading on Monday due to power outage, so we apologize about that. We sent a newsletter alert uh, overnight out. Hope everyone got that. A good reason why you need to be signed up for our newsletter. If you go over to our blog, join the newsletter right on the blog page. It's about a third of the way down. We sent out a notice to everybody last night as soon as we knew about that cancellation. doesn't happen very often, but every once in a while we run into our own technical problems here as well. Not very frequently, though. Usually we're pretty good about being consistent here in this room. Okay. Now, before we start talking about the trades we took today, and you can see we took three trades today, three fast tracks, three fast track winners, 50 ticks of profit. Before we talk about these trades we took, I do want to remind everyone out there, though, that even though we make it look very easy here, we're actually trading a specific plan. Our members, myself, everyone here is trading a specific trading plan, which means we're not shadow trading. We're not just you know, impulse trading here right now. And so I highly encourage everyone out there right now to be careful with their risk capital, especially the guests, because you're underprepared for this. As a member, we're going to go through intense trainings. As a member, in fact, today for members, we're talking about advanced price structures. It will be recorded. We'll have plenty of time to answer all your detailed questions for members today after 1130. But if you're a guest right now, though, we haven't prepared you for this yet. We have not trained you on this method, so please be careful with that risk capital. Okay, start demo account first, ask lots of questions, and once you feel comfortable, you'll go to your live account. We have a very specific strategy for launching a new trader's career in our advanced course materials. Moving from a demo account, learning, moving to one contract in the fast track, learning and earning, and then continuing to build with what they say, right, house money or market money from there on out. You don't need a lot of cash to get started if you get started the right way. Okay, but a small account, being underprepared, shadow trading, not knowing how to trade this method, okay, there's risk out there, so be careful. All right, a great day here in the room. We got some big clues this morning. What were those big clues? Well, let's see what clues we got. The first clue we got this morning was from the news. The news told us today, now again, Monday, we missed Monday, but what did Bernanke say on Monday morning? Bernanke has been quoted over and over by saying they want to, they want to accommodate they want to accommodate monetary policy. An accommodative monetary, monetary policy is what his exact words were on, on Monday morning. That meant this morning the dollar had hit the lows, everything else was rising, and we talked about right, how big of a clue that was for us to be buying. So we began the day thinking we're going to be buying here today because when Bernanke said accommodative monetary policy, it pushed the dollar lower. We thought that dollar might keep going lower, giving us chances to buy. Wasn't the case, though. We saw that in our second clue today. This wasn't the case. But before we get there, though, what was our first clue? Our first clue came from the news. Nine o'clock home prices. What do we know about home prices? Okay, existing home prices, pending home sales, new home sales, home price indexes. What do we know about this stuff? We know it used to be a very important news event, but nowadays, between stimulus packages and manipulated market data and the fact that Nobody really knows what's up or what's down in the housing market. This can be a red, red alert news event, but we're really not going to use it. So we knew that 9 o'clock home price index wouldn't be a very big one for us. We did know, though, the best price action would probably come around 10 o'clock this morning. So the first clue we saw this morning was be patient early in the morning. Expect the best meat and potatoes to come between 9.30 and 11.30. Now, if that 9 o'clock news would have been something like, oh, I don't know, durable goods like tomorrow or GDP the, right, the following day, we're going to start seeing reasons to think price action will pick up speed and give us good market personality early in the morning. Not today, though. First things first this morning, first clue was the news told us, be patient. Second clue, now the first clue we thought we'd be buying this morning once we saw that dollar going lower, but then we opened up the dollar. And our second clue this morning was very, very simple. First clue was no news. Second clue, dollar wedge. This one was pretty easy to spot. 